Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Jay Laron back again with Jay Laron Presents, where we talk about the facts, foolishness, and black female fuckery. Today's video is going to be kind of a two-part. It's going to be about the bombshell that the that Will Smith's assistant has dropped on everybody saying that he walked in on Dwayne Martin and Will Smith um smashing each other, right? Or Dwayne was smashing Will. <laughs> he called it murder. <laughs> he said it was straight murder up in there. But uh, we're gonna talk a little bit. We're gonna I want to show that video of the Tasha K. It's like a two minute interview. It's just a little clip. Um, the actual interview will be coming out in the next day or so, I, I believe. But um, we're gonna look at that first clip of Tasha K. Talking to the, this assistant, and then we're gonna get into Corey Holcomb <laughs> and hear Corey Holcomb's views on on the whole thing. Okay, so you guys, fair use, fair use. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And let's get into it. You looked at my Instagram. Mm -hmm. You see the hundreds of celebrities that I've done business with, you know, done things with. And during the latter years of our relationship, Will was not my friend. I was his friend. I was around before they had Trey. Jada was the woman that everybody wanted. And Will needed that validation to have that type of woman. You saw her say that Will Smith had a small dick? Oh, I am saying to you, if a woman is used to something the size of a baby leg and you come in with a pinky toe, there's nothing you can do to please her. You can buy her 80 cars, you can get her 80 private jets. If she's itching for that baby leg, she want that baby leg. You can beat a person so much that they fall into submission. And who needs enemies when they got friends like you? Oh, I could tell you what goes on in, in, on the inside. Everybody else is just speculation. Damn. Somebody told me I made and my pictures in the book. You know, your, yeah, your picture's in the book and your name is in the book. So I'm, it's like, you're doing some real elegant pimp. I'm blowing you up. I love that. I'm I blowing love you up. Dude, this is what Jada makes the new people do. And I ain't gonna say no, they probably been there after myself, mm -hmm. right? They will make you check into a rehab and they'll pay for the rehab. Even though you're not on drugs, they're gonna pay for the rehab. And you have to go if you want to work with them. And then I saw sexual acts that I, one, I walked in on. Who'd you walk in on? Him and Dwayne Martin. Okay. Hollywood is the hurry up and, and, and wait game. So three minutes later after them telling me, hey, you got eyes on Will, you got, we, we, we need him to come watch this. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, where's this guy at? So now I'm holding Dwayne down too. So I have the keys to his dressing room. So I'm like, yo, and they're calling my, my they, I'm on walkie talkie and they're calling my cell phone. Yo, we need to get Will here. And I'm like, yo, kind of fucked down like i'm trying to find is like this is this is unlike him right so all right i open the um door to Dwayne's dressing room and that's when i see Dwayne and having anal sex with will let me process that for a second there was a couch and um will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing up killing him murder like out in the street they call it murder Murder. It was murder in there. In there. The couch and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder. Like, murder. Out in the street, they call it murder. Hey, hey, hey. Even when I was with the deer and headlights, and I finally said, oh shit. Out in the street, they call it murder. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you looked at my Instagram. All right, y'all. That was that was that, man. But yeah, 
Dude said he was straight murder. <laughs> he was straight murdering. Oh, that's crazy. But yo, okay, now we're gonna get into the next video. This is gonna be Corey Holcomb uh, with their views on it. All right, hold tight. Fair use, fair use. Everybody already got that Dwayne Martin, Will Smith shit like up there. Yeah. I don't know why. Is it resurfacing for well, well, the dude who is the informant or whatever he want to call himself, he went on Tasha K. So it got amped up even more. That nigga lying, man. Hey, look, I asked the nigga, oh, yeah, so what was you doing? Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen two niggas fuck ever. So if you done seen two niggas fuck with your own eyes, nigga, you gay too, nigga. <laughs> Will you tell this motherfucker in the street? <laughs> niggas think the streets ain't got eyes and telepathy. Look, the, 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 the homie, I ain't mad at him, but he wanted to come on my show. But I'm like, we don't really talk about niggas getting rotted out by niggas and you the eyewitness. This ain't that. <laughs> this ain't that type of show, homie. No, man. You know what I'm saying? I saw it. Well, what you do? Yeah, dude, you I just step that, back, right? Get the fuck out of here. Said, after I came, I was like, y'all wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from enjoyment. He Craig, was Craig, right. no. <laughs> Craig ain't got so no sense. This is awful. <laughs> is that what Again. Corey, I'm talking about the smell. I ain't talking about the. <laughs> this is oh, always. Oh, look, don't nobody ever tell on they self when they be coming with it. They just be telling. Yeah, he the way he made it seem like he he sat there and said I was like a deer in headlights. So he <laughs> so he saw it. He saw he saw the stroke. So why he sat there so long, I don't know. But let, let, let's get back into it. But then be like, well, what was you doing? Because I heard he was the man. He was Will Smith's assistant or something. Right, right, right. So if you Will Smith's assistant, what that tell you? Do it got to be said? That nigga was his. That nigga was his ass sister. Right. <laughs> ass in it. Oh lord, damn. His ass in it. Three S's and that is sister, nigga. Ass. Man, motherfuckers sister. act like I'm a dog. Will look. I got love for Will Smith, man. Will Smith. The homie in here. He showed up. I told y'all he might show up. Hold on, get him set up. We just walk up in here with his smooth oh, little man. Who's that? Look is that a dress, nigga? Yeah, that's that nigga good. They got on an <laughs> Irish. Uh, but let me, let me, let me keep it a buck, man. Let me tell you something, man. Will Smith is one of the greatest actors of our time. Entertainers, period. Dwayne Martin is a solid black man. I have been around Dwayne Martin. Dwayne Martin conduct himself like a man. And if you try him, you'll find out he ain't no cake ass nigga. So whatever they do, we gonna laugh at it cause we niggas. Right, we, right. we stupid like that. We go joke. This motherfucker talk about somebody getting a nigga to business. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about two niggas business of anything in a room. Yeah. Plus when we talk about it, we just guessing. If you know for sure, for sure, nigga, you right. come on, man. He was in the room, yeah. but he ain't talking about what he did. That's what I was saying. Yeah, come on, That nigga man. talking about Jada used to a baby leg. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga ain't got a baby leg. Yeah. Then Jada wasn't trying to fuck with you. God damn it. Love. All right, my nigga, you flirting, dog. Wow. You flirting with niggas when you do that. See, you do that shit to somebody like, I'm saying, like, I ain't trying to talk shit, but I'm just saying, the sister Tasha K, did you see her reaction? She was just like, oh, yeah. oh my God, all that shit. But they love that type of shit. You can't talk dick on dick to real niggas. <laughs> when gay people gonna start standing up? They stand up in each other <laughs> all the time. Damn. But I don't never hear them talk about the imposters to their community. They be letting people just claim gay that's just doing it so they could be more popular. When they gonna start getting, you You'll know. You'll probably get, they'll probably check. You feel what I'm saying? Like I we, know what you're saying. Wait, it's like in our community, when motherfuckers be wiggers or when they be acting, you know, like they with the cause, but they not, we call them sellouts, Uncle Toms. What, what does that look like for them? Like the people, in, the people that, the men that mess with men, but won't step forward with the rest of their sisters and brothers. Are they selling out? They are. The Magdoria community? To me, a bisexual person is, should technically, they should be. You should have to check in. Hey, look, man. They greedy. They eating up all the pussy, sucking up all the dick, and gay people oh, ain't saying nothing about Lord it. Jesus. You should, hey, man. You should have to check in. <laughs> like on the 5150 show. Yeah. If you come on the 5150 show, 
and you on the back door inside of the game, you should check in. Let him yeah. motherfucker know. My homie Flame gonna be on the show again <laughs> soon. <laughs> but we already know. Flame, check in. Yeah, yeah. Corey, you know how I get down, but I'll never come at you like that with that yeah. old shit, my dick. Flame, that's my nigga. Now, wait you know a second. Don't, don't most folks... Uh... By the way, this is Chad. Hey, Everybody, that's right. Chad. Hey, what up, Chad? Yeah, up, Chad? Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, I think it's yeah, Chad, if y'all don't said, know. Chad. <laughs> Chad always be shitty sharp everywhere he go. That's he, right. Them hoes be like, Wait that a nigga second, be sharp. And there's something new now. What happened? There's something new. Oh, the hair is gone. Uh, you just noticed it, dude. I did. Oh, my God. That's why for a second when he walked in, I was like, who is that? Because he was already turned around. Back to the fruit booty shit. No, anyway, I was going to say, don't. Well, I know I don't uh, really care for when people put out their personal business, especially like a guy. You know, when a guy or a girl says, oh, yeah, I had that. And they give specifics and they talk about a certain person. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. I don't like that. That's like, right? That's right. like classless. It's like, come on now. Well, really? the reason now, they do it because clout. They, that, that dude obviously want people time, to recognize him as a whistleblower. Okay, but when people do do that and you say it's for clout, most of the time, I mean, how... how how are you like how are you taking that serious like how, who, why are we believing that like just because somebody comes out and says that right. why would you believe it especially that well he's saying it that he saw it or he's a witness or whatever it's a smear but, campaign this is this is a narcissistic smear campaign he, he's mad like, at something will at anytime you set a boundary with a so whole ass motherfucker and they don't like the boundary they start smear campaign. That's how you know if somebody is solid. If you fuck with somebody and you say, hey, man, I like your homie, you cool, but you can't do this no more. As uh, soon as you draw that line, right. and they're like, oh, I can't do that no more. Now, Corey's a bitch ass nigga. Everybody, Corey do this, Corey do that. You know what I'm saying? Them, you know, so, that with that whole ass nigga. Um, right. Like, man, why can't you do this? Precise. Right. That whole ass nigga talk about Corey and pedophile. Dog, stop saying that shit before I sue you, dog, even though you ain't got shit. <laughs> I know you ain't got shit, nigga. You ain't even have a key to that crib old girl live in. Damn. You don't want to fuck with me, nigga, because I'm going to come with facts, and it's going to make you mad. So stop motherfucking talking crazy about me, nigga, with that pedophile, cake-ass shit, dope fiend ass nigga. Everything I say about you, I can prove, nigga. So watch yourself, nigga. Watch yourself. Go do your little Live your little life, <laughs> nigga. Go sing for a couple of pennies. Oh, ass nigga. But anyway, uh, yeah. I, I smiled the shit off for the longest, but everybody like, man, that nigga say you on some pedophile shit. Nigga, that's, that's kind of you taking it reach too far. That's called a cool serious out, nigga. reach. Cool out, nigga. Get your army life together, nigga. Go see the psych doctor or something, y'all. Can't just be saying what the fuck you want to say out here, nigga. Yeah, no. Oh, ass nigga. That's yeah. what they gonna do as soon as you set a boundary, man. They gonna, they gonna act like you the worst. They gonna well, you don't want the busters around you. Them motherfuckers come with a... They was your friend at first, though. Oh, they was kissing oh, your ass. Hey. Nigga, I got video of the nigga kissing my ass. But yeah, that's um, that's about that's pretty much it on that, man. Uh, <laughs> let me know what y'all think about this dude. This um assistant of Will Smith. Do y'all think he's full of cap or did he really walk in on 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 Dwayne Martin smashing Will Smith, man? Yo, it's crazy what be going on out here in these streets, man. Folks just be out telling telling everybody's business left and right like it ain't nothing. So we don't know. We'll see. But like I said, it's just so much stuff coming out with Will and Jada, man. It's, but people have said that back before, like, you know, been years, maybe five, ten years ago. That Will Smith and Jada and Dwayne, all of them were like, you know, having orgies and and um, swinger parties and stuff like that. But who knows, man? But um, Tasha K, I guess she's going to release the, the full video pretty soon. We'll catch up on that. But in the meantime, you guys, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. It's your boy Jay Larone. Please be good to yourself by all means. Let's be good to one another. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Out in the street, they call it murder. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. Nice. I don't want to go to work because my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy, oh. 
Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe To fight, to die, oh And this is my game to play To claim a brand new name, oh And I ain't gonna lie to you I'm a bit nervous that I might screw Everything up that I've ever done But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that My miss, gotta find what I'm good at I guess I'll look here, look there Over where am I scared, where am I at? I gotta make it in this life Whatever makes me happy, know I'm doing things right Sipping in the summer on a goose and Sprite Or we'll find a nightclub for the end of the night, oh And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe We can do anything But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be?